When you think of great main themes of media franchises, you usually think Star Wars, or Zelda, or Halo. Pieces that have highly singable, sweeping melodies with romantic style orchestrations. But what about those instances when the main themes are more about setting an atmosphere or a certain ambiance? Such as the recent The Batman theme, where the main motif is a very minimalist buildup of just two chords. Or Mass Effect's synth heavy main theme that immediately makes you feel this futuristic sci-fi setting. Both pieces are not necessarily traditionally singable pieces, but you feel the vibe. There's one more franchise main theme that also resonates with this style, and that is Enon Zur's Fallout theme. Specifically, the themes he wrote for Fallout 3, New Vegas, and Fallout 4. And recently, it was also featured in the Fallout Amazon Prime series. This is the topic of today's video, and we are going to talk about how with just two chords, Enon Zur managed to hide the secret detail in the Fallout theme. One massive plot spoiler warning for the Amazon Prime series. You've been warned. Hello, my name is Diwa. Welcome to my channel. Let's talk about Fallout. With over 400 hours spent in the Bethesda Fallout games, one could say I adore Fallout. And after watching the Amazon Prime series, my love for the franchise grew even bigger. And oh my god, when that scene happened, I was just nerding out like a massive fanboy. You know what I'm talking about. When we distill the Fallout theme into its basic harmonic essence, this section is the one fans most resonate with. The six top notes are the main motif for each of the Bethesda Fallout main themes. Played alone without harmony, they're kind of bare bones and does not have much meaning until you add the iconic three chord progression. Each game entry has different arrangements representing the overall vibe of the game entry. Fallout 3 is a more traditional cinematic arrangement with a bit of a heavy-handed approach in establishing the gloomy vibe of the franchise. But it makes sense. It's Bethesda's first Fallout entry after all, and they gotta go big to make a good first impression to the fans. And New Vegas starts with a desolate, empty feel, using a lot of American Western country aesthetics represented by those twangy metallic textures, emulating the sound of a blues slide guitar, then becomes a more militaristic theme. A great representation of the Mojave with its four army-like factions battling for control. And finally, Fallout 4 is more pristine, a back-to-basics approach highlighting a mostly piano arrangement. Fallout 76 added a lot more ornamentation between sections 
thus blurring the two chord effect. They're still kind of there, but it's no longer as obvious as the previous three games. So we're not going to count it for this video. But regardless of the external dressing, aka the arrangement, the six note main motifs are heard in all arrangements. Here they are again. Don't you ever wonder why the composer settled for this ambient six-note approach? The key is in the contextual harmony. Chords alone are meaningless. I mean, yeah, major chords are usually considered brighter and minor chords are generally seen to be darker or happy versus sad. But isolated from each other, they don't really tell much of a musical story. The main themes of franchises are important flagship auditory brands of a game series and they are usually well thought out and intentional. This is definitely an intentional decision. Let's listen again to the fallout motif. Six notes, three chords. What does that sound to you? What does the succession of the chords make you feel? because it was written in such a specific way. For me, it conveys an initial hopeful feeling. But then it conveys sadness or despair in the second half. Furthermore, the hopeful section lands in the C major key, which is the home key, the tonic of the composition. But in the despair section, the chord lands in A minor, which is the relative minor to C major. A relative minor is like the evil twin of any major key. So even with that technical explanation, hope versus despair is already built in the system. Does this not sound familiar to you? Hope versus despair? Like how in Fallout 3, you start out as an ideal and naive vault dweller, positive of your future outlook. Or how about in Fallout 4, where you start with that very hopeful pre-war prologue until the bombs fall? Then we have Lucy from the Amazon Prime series, also starts out like this. My name is Lucy McLean, and I'm an active contributor to the well-being of my community. Of course, it's a little bit different with New Vegas, since it's an Obsidian-developed game. But we still have some of these hopeful parallels where you start in a small town called Good Springs where a cheerful Doc Mitchell greets you and a peppy hunter named Sonny Smiles gives you gun training. You as the protagonist have all these hopes and dreams of saving the world and restoring America as it once was. But then you eventually venture into the real world and is finally exposed to reality. It is bleak, dangerous, and desperate. Not at all very hopeful. This is the duality of Fallout. The blissful innocence of a hopeful protagonist versus the bleak reality of the wasteland. Hope versus despair. In the game entries where Bethesda is involved, this duality is very much present. I can't say much about the first two Fallout games. You tell the comments. This is why I think Enon Zur's Fallout theme is a masterclass in ambient storytelling. Hope and despair are on full display if you're paying attention. But because it is written in a more minimalistic harmonic style, instead of a face-forward, melody-heavy style a la John Williams, you feel this more versus hearing or singing it in a more obvious manner. This is an example of genius theme writing. 
and I wish I could take the credit for analyzing this explanation, but actually, I have a very reliable source. The composer himself, Inan Zur. I attended his panel in Game Sound Con 2023, which was actually a panel about his music from Starfield. But during the question and answer portion, I was lucky enough to have the chance to ask him a question. I asked whether the similarities of the augmented fifth melodies of Fallout and Starfield are an intentional choice. And his answer was both revealing and kind of humorous. Here now is the full clip of me asking him the question played in full. Hi, sir. Thank you so much for the wonderful talk. Um, first of all, I'm a fan of your compositions. 400 hours in Fallout and 60 hours in Starfield. Thank you. My question is, um, I realize that some of the, the, the melodic, melodic themes of Fallout and Starfield and the you have these like sort of tendency to go on the augmented fit. You got is, me. is there some sort of you got me. <laughs> And is, is there some, some sort of process or okay, some, some so, favorite inspirations that you do? Okay, for so actually I do, I, I prepared an answer because I knew you were going to ask that. <laughs> <laughs> so, but actually it really is true. With Fallout, actually, it was only something that for me was the fear, the despair. But then, the hope. And that was the way I looked at it. With Starfield, it was different because it was more about So with Starfield, actually, the notes presented more of a harmony. Meaning that I tried to play these three major chords into the harmony. And this is the reason why this happened. Um, the fact that it's sort of like reminding itself is A, happy accident, B, it's the same composer. <laughs> Thank you. In his explanation, he demonstrated for the audience this intended use of the two-chord leitmotif to portray despair and hope. But for his demonstration, since it was an impromptu question caused by yours truly, he didn't get to demonstrate the second portion of the full motif. But the main idea remains. He's using the two-chord structure to contrast hope and despair. I hope this video gave you an added appreciation for the ambient music stylings of the Fallout's main theme and just really added some more love for the franchise in general. If not, that's also cool. I am just a Fallout fanboy nerding out over its amazing music and just happen to be filming it. Thank you for watching. Now click on this next video to watch my own guitar and violin arrangement of the Fallout theme. Enjoy.